there's old Strawberry Mountain way back off in the distance there. This is the part of Bear Valley here. And down there where you see the line of sagebrush, that's the old railroad track. It's all gone now. There's nothing but dirt and sagebrush. But the railroad used to come through here and bring logs out of this country to take them to the mill to saw them up for lumber. Here's an old piece of the railroad I was talking about. Probably a part of the railroad tie. You can see where the big old spikes have been driven into it here. We decided to take a walk on the old railroad bed. It's covered in chipped pieces of obsidian that was pushed up from the ground when the railroad was made. Here's a rough piece which an old American Indian worked on while he was making his tools. Here's an old uh, artifact right here. An old railroad spike. I guess that's one of the last things remaining to give evidence that there was a track here at all. Here's the railroad bed going that away. Well, that's kind of neat. Old railroad spike. And here's another railroad spike. That right on side the road. This is a, a lodgepole pine, and I'm always on the lookout for these uh, that have the knots on them. It's called blister rust. It's a disease that, that gets on the lodgepole and makes these knots, and you can make a, a carving on them or something like that and make a nice walking stick out of them. They usually grow pretty straight. A Swiss Army knife has a pretty good saw blade on it. I really like these knives. They just come in handy all the time. I probably use this two or three times a day for one thing or another. So I'm gonna trim it up and, and uh, take it. Top. There was a couple of fork tops on it. Cut that off. And usually on these dead ones, I can just pull them up out of the ground because the ground is pretty moist and and uh, I just give it a good. Good pull like that. And usually come out roots and all. So I'm anxious to turn that into some kind of a walking stick.
Did you have fun out there, Pearl? You about run your short little legs off, didn't you? <laughs> I've come across quite a few stone artifacts while roaming the hills. I tried to imagine the story behind each piece. I'm not much of a flint napper, so I decided to make my own arrowhead out of a scrap piece of red cedar. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.